So we're sitting here with Yare Suomenen, the uh, world's leading expert on how to get good enemies <laughs> instruments and their construction. And he's going to make a short demonstration of how to play the andromatic. Okay, so the most basic basic setup with andromatic is is uh, making short loops with the shift register mode and uh, and the shift register mode for for the sake of clarity we are now first only considering the first four steps so in shift register mode the first uh, switch is always up and the rest are down so here we have like four step sequencer so when I pull the switch up it will start to loop the sequence so we can see this one light going you can, around you can move your hand now round and back like and if I patch the sound in we will hear the traditional four step sequence here and we can tune it like so so now we only hear the four first steps and now following this four step sequencer i have a second four step sequencer that will iterate once each time this first sequencer is making a full loop so you can see that it goes slower and i can patch that thing in And at the end we have like two bit shift register that is even slower. And the second second configuration is the concept of counter sequencer. And in that mode, if we start from the beginning and pull out pull out and only use the four first steps, then we are putting the the switches to the middle position and the first switch will be will go to the like the position down and now we have have an arrangement where this is actually counting bits from zero to up essentially it's kind of like dividing so the first step is toggling back and forth certain speed second like like half the rate and again like slower and slower and we can we can continue this make longer counters or maybe even like a full 10 bit counter and this is something that you can use to create super long sequences and polyphonic sequences So for every stage except for the first one, the middle switch position is count. Yes. And for the first stage, the bottom it's, switch is it's count. count. Yeah. And the middle one is for resetting the sequence. Okay. So, so it, it, it stops everything basically. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can combine this, of course. You can then make have one. Let's reset this. And now we have like counter here shift register here and then again counter here. So the up position is shift? Uh, on uh, all of the... No, no, up position is uh, break. And Tell I'm, us what break does, because I'm confused break, about yeah, that. Yeah, break is, break is the first step of a shift register. So, so now here we have like a shift register section, so then the first step should always, always be in, in break mode. So break is the like the capital letter in the sentence. Okay. So, so now we have one shift register here. And uh, if, if you would put it, make it 
this way, then it's the same thing, like capital letter and then the rest of the shift registers. So that's the logic here. What is the difference between a shift register mode and account mode? Uh, in shift register mode, the, every time when the main clock ticks, the contents of the register is shifted to the right one step. So then you can see they always get shift right. And counting is kind of like, like uh, you can think about it as uh, e either like dividing the frequency or counting the bits up. So so then each step is kind of like every time it's toggling off, it will trigger the next step, which then toggles the state. So so usually in in, in the most simple form. In shift register, you always have only one step that is active, but in counter setting, you have multiple steps that are active at a time. So that's a way of creating polyphonic content. So a shift register doesn't actually affect anything until a counter reaches it. Is that right? Like if we set up a shift register somewhere like, like in the here, middle, yeah. Like, yeah, like this. So now we have one shift register here and another one here. So then then this will shift when this like uh, light reaches this point okay. and, 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 and iterates back to here. Every time when this light goes off, this register will iterate yeah. one step. And the last three steps are in a counter mode, right? Yes, yes. And currently we're not listening to the last two steps because we don't have them assigned to anything on the pin matrix. Exactly. Do we have extra pins here? Yes, we do. And um, one regular one, yeah. And then we can we touch it differently. We can quickly hear the how do the different filters sound. So, mm -hmm. so we listen that. That's the high pass. Yeah, this is direct, direct and low pass, and this one doesn't work. Then band passes. Two different channels. I one. And low one. Good for kick. So then we can actually use this as a drum machine. Yeah, so that's the low pass filter now. Yeah. Uh, these are band passes. But the bottom one is the low pass. No, it's just the lowest band pass. There is a low pass filter. Yeah, but the low pass is this one. Ah. Control, there's a gain control and there's a sustain control. Can you show us how the sustain changes things? Um, yeah, that's like uh, well, maybe we do it like uh, let's do one. One, uh, let's try to do it like this. Now it's super slow. Its step is active, then also the sustain knob is active. So now when we 
reach this point, I have set this to the high speed, so then everything goes like ultra fast. And then when it like is dis like a disabled and this is enabled, this is a slow one. So now we can change the tempos of the sequences using this kind of like feature. And how it would be used maybe like in more conventional setup then we could maybe do I'm trying somehow to like set the let's try to make it a little slow now we can like uh, set the length of each, each step because now kind of like one only one step is active at a time so we can make super short steps or long ones so if I want all the steps to be as long as possible I turn them down I think this step should be super short and I could do it like this, turn it all the way up. And this is like kind of like the main arrangement. Oops. But then when multiple lights are on at the same time, then this is kind of like misusing the system, but there's the beauty on doing like the holophonic stuff that everything affects to everything. It, always when the light is when the step is enabled, then the sustain up is also enabled. So now with this sustain up is doing something. Uh, but this sustain up for instance isn't doing anything because it's not active the step. So these are useless at the moment. How have we stopped that sequence at that? Like if the other ones are in count, but the last one the last one of the shift register is in break, does that mean that the data doesn't get passed forward? Yeah, this is kind of like illegal or like stupid combination after break if you have count then you kind of like disable all the transfer of, of like a trigger to this point it doesn't go further okay. so, I, so I can do drones here but this will never ever be change their values because this will stay stay as it is it will never nothing will no information will travel okay. past this point so this is kind of like a legal <laughs> combination right so to use the rest of that yeah then we have to yeah, make a new yeah, uh... yeah yeah so break always have to be followed by the shift that's the in conventional use or you can use it to break it and make a really short segment yeah. okay thanks i didn't understand that part before especially yeah. It sounds like the tones of the last couple are being modulated by something. Yeah, I think that because these are the two, two oscillators now patched up to the same effect, so then they will right. jump to something here. A little bit of cancellation. Yeah. Really quickly, you get to a place where it's hard to understand what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 